the fitness space on social media has a big problem. It is way too oversaturated. Just a few years ago, I remember the space was dominated by a few distinct influencers. And while it's good that more people have a voice these days, the truth is that too many people have a voice and a platform. This problem is particularly obvious on Instagram. Just look at someone like Jack's Fit. The guy is built like a stick insect. And I'm sorry, but it's the truth. His arms are like cocktail sticks. And I would feel bad for saying that if he hadn't been blatantly lying to his 270,000 followers on Instagram for almost a year. I have, in fact, lost weight. Pretending to be bulking and claiming he eats thousands of calories a day and basically hardly changing at all. He talks about a 3,000 calorie diet. The guy looks like is on a 300 calorie diet. Jack's fit was blessed by the algorithm and given an opportunity to show an inspiring transformation to the world. Yet all he's done is hang around with degenerate OnlyFans girls. The online fitness space is now dominated by fakes, frauds and shills, exactly like Jack. But it gets worse. Not only do we have that, but we've now got people who look like they've barely been in the gym for a year trying to become muscle building coaches on Instagram as if they're industry experts. There's an account called Will Bertolini and I'm semi-convinced that he's just taking the piss. Either that or the poor guy needs some serious help. He claims to be a bodybuilding coach, yet he is significantly smaller than every single one of his clients. Imagine claiming you're a fitness coach and all of your clients are literally bigger than you. No, I'm not joking. Just look at his account. This is the first post I came across. When I first saw it, I thought this was a first year in the gym progress video. And then I saw the 10.5 weeks out. 10.5 weeks out from what, you might ask? Surely not a bodybuilding show, right? Wrong. The guy was actually preparing for a bodybuilding show. I'm sorry, but this is just sad. Someone is clearly having this poor guy on. I don't know who's been boosting his confidence into the delusional levels, but clearly someone has. This is him two weeks out from a bodybuilding show. He looks like he needs another 50 weeks of hard bulking. And no, he was not having a laugh. He actually turned up to a bodybuilding show, looking like he's just finished a 20-day water fast. I think even Jack Jack's fit might be bigger than this guy. I think this is a good example of why we shouldn't be giving children participation trophies as kids. Bodybuilders lift for years, chiseling their physiques to complete perfection. This is not a thing for year one lifters. This guy gets a ton of hate comments too, and the fact that he has not showed even a single sign of becoming slightly self-aware after so many people are telling him the hard truth in his comments is absolutely insane to me. Anyway, do you guys agree with me that the fitness space is clearly oversaturated and full of far too many trashy influencers these days? Do let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. I would be most violently grateful.